Hey you guys, it's your girl Chrissy and I feel that I felt the need to come and talk to you guys to um let you know that you need to have faith over fear. I believe now is a time that um we should definitely be praying because um we just don't know what's really going on. Of course, doctors have a better handle on what's going on in the CDC, but we don't know what tomorrow holds. That's what I want us to understand and that we can just do our best right now. We can make good decisions right now, okay? Um, so yeah, I really just wanted to come to you guys and tell you guys to choose faith over fear. Don't live in fear, don't live scared. If you're on social media, stop watching people who keep talking about this. Stop watching things that are that are constantly talking about COVID-19, Corona, the Rona, you know, maybe you can probably watch some things, you know, depending on how your humor is set up. But if there's triggering things, just log off in general. This is a great time to watch a movie to just do other things. But I'm going to stick to my script. And um, the first thing I wanted to tell you guys is to read Psalms 91. And I just picked out some of my favorite points from that scripture. And Overall, it's that we abide in the shelter of the Most High. You guys, we have a covering over us. We're already, if we go in prayer to to the Lord, He's going to provide all of the shelter that we need. Also, He is our fortress and our refuge. So He is that person we can run to. He is that person we can rely on. And He will deliver us from any disease. Y'all, if you don't, one thing about the Bible, it does say that all you need to do is ask and you will receive. You also need to be careful about what you say because there is life and death in the power of the tongue. So remember to speak good things over yourself, speak encouragement over yourself, but also ask the Lord for what you really want. And according to his will, baby, he'll give it to you, okay? You just have to really have faith. And then the last one is that we should not fear. The only one we need to fear is him, okay? I shouldn't fear you. You shouldn't fear me. I shouldn't be scared of catching this or or, or anything. Of course, we do, we do want to be mindful about catching something. And then, or if we're not susceptible to it, then other people could be susceptible to it. So, of course, be mindful. But don't live in fear, y'all. Don't be out here scared to... Just step outside of your house and don't think that because we need to be in our house that you're stuck as well, okay? So I also want to talk about the news. The news right now is very, very distracting. Um, the, the news is putting a really bad taste on our mouth. The news is scaring kids. It's scaring families, scaring moms, dads. The news is scaring all of us. And it's just like the news is just relating the news. You know, there's showing what the president is saying, showing what the CD CDC is saying, so showing what other doctors are reporting. And it's just a lot. It's showing a lot about, you know, what other countries are doing about the um, COVID-19. And I haven't really seen too much about the presidential election. Um, I, I, I'm, I, I haven't researched it, but I hear like there's other things like locusts, supposed to be running through Africa like rampant and um I believe there's something else um but you know I'm, I'm hearing the only reason I say I'm hearing these things is because honestly I'm not trying to be all listening to the news 24 7 I'm just not into that I'm just trying to be in my own space I'm not trying to shut everything out because you don't want to shut everything out you definitely want to be aware of what's going on around you but there's definitely a time when you know okay I've had enough of that I know I'm caught up on it now I can just be in my own space do things to take my mind off of things that yes I know but don't need to be in the front or they can be pushed to the back 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 okay um and you can also try and look at your local news, but still, there's, like, nothing, like, super meaningful, you know? Nobody's reporting what I think, you know? everything. Everything's just about this damn COVID, all right? Um, and then social media. Like I was saying earlier, if you are, if you tend to be looking at a whole bunch of stories that are talking about COVID-19, people are at the grocery stores buying up their stuff, I was just... just 
for today or for a while, just mute, mute them. Um, you don't have to unfollow anybody. Let's say you don't want to get off of social media because like that's one of the things that you're doing to keep you occupied. Just mute everybody. There's a little button on the side that's like dot, dot, dot. You can press that. You can mute people's posts. You can mute people's videos just so that you don't have to have that be your main focus on, you know, one of your outlets. You don't have to keep seeing their feed or keep seeing their story. So you can, that's something you should do. But also if you see a lot of that on social media and you're not really getting like that takeaway that you want from it go ahead and just log off if you need to like be on your phone go to a different app play a different game but I would suggest take your eyes off of your phone for a while go for a walk um watch a movie put on a show download Netflix do some free get some couple of free trials um just try not to be so focused on the social media and how everybody's just talking about the COVID-19. Yeah, some people are making light in front of it, but just depending on how you're emotionally set up and built, you know, you just want to be mindful and know yourself. And then my heart really, really goes out to, I don't know if anybody else is thinking about this, but I really wanted to talk about this because yes, there's families, you know, who really need some things, who are unable to get it. And my heart goes out to them you know, kids, you know, out of school for a while, who knows how long they'll be out of school. And just thinking about their education, you know, parents who said, you know, who one day said, not at all parents, but parents who have said they can teach better than the school, you know, now's your time to shine. Let's see how well you can do. Or those parents, you know, who still have to work, but their kid is out, but now they have to stay home because their kid is home. You know, all different types of scenarios. But I also think there's kids who won't eat right now. And then I also think about those kids who are in abusive situations who just won't be able to get away. And, or just elderly who just, you know, just you know live by themselves or you know just my heart my heart my heart just is just like going out to so many different scenarios um but also that's another thing try not to get so worked up in your own mind you know about some things some things you just have to release and let it go pray about it and let it go um I'd like to think that this is like a big break for all of us I really would like to think that this is God telling us like look everybody's getting a bag you sit back sit back sit back sit back and start chilling that's what I feel like everybody's just getting a break everybody's just so hung up on social media hung up on life and living and working and driving and and just doing you know everybody just wants to just chill and I feel like everybody is has that time just to be at home and really chill and just you know just really relax just really relax um, we definitely, um, in this time, try your best to be nice, to share, and try not to hoard. And please believe me, I'm going to be completely honest. I found myself at the store a couple of times in a couple of situations. Like, I believe me and my family were in a good situation. There's not stuff that, you know, we're going to, we, we need right now. We got to have to go out there and buy. But please believe me, I got caught up in just, you know, the hype of it all. And I found myself in a, in a situation, not like a situation, but I found myself thinking to myself like, wow, look at me, look at me, you know? So just trying to be mindful of what you're doing and make sure what you're doing is not a part of like the hype, you know, just the madness, the hysteria that's going on. Um, this is definitely a time to be more creative, a uh, time to read, study, exercise, do what you want. Try not to eat so much because then some people are going to be have be on a snack attack. But exercise, try not to eat so much. And then for all of you who wanted to do anything, be, be creative, learn anything, this is your time. You literally have time. If there's nothing else that you have to do, this is your time. And for all of you ha who have school and you're like me, your professors may um, may or may not be pushing out stuff for you to do, but like mine, they are. So keep studying, keep on learning, growing and glowing because, you know, just keep on studying, keep on going and try not to go broke. I know there's probably going to be a lot of sales and stuff going on. Just be mindful of how much you're spending, but Oh, above all, you guys, love your neighbor, love people around you, and pray, 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 pray. Deuces.